Hey, everyone. Welcome back to AG Tech Today. We are diving into Kafka tricky questions and answers. Here are 10 tricky Kafka related questions with answers that are often asked in interviews. 1. What is the difference between Kafka and traditional messaging systems like JMS or RabbitMQ? Answer. Kafka is designed as a distributed streaming platform that can handle large volumes of real-time data with high throughput. Unlike traditional messaging systems, Kafka stores streams of records in a fault-tolerant and scalable way. Kafka allows consumers to read messages at their own pace and has built-in support for message retention, partitioning, and replication. JMS and RabbitMQ are more focused on message queuing and point-to-point -point or publish subscribe patterns, while Kafka is optimized for log-based, distributed processing and stream processing. 2. What is the role of Zookeeper in Kafka? And can Kafka work without Zookeeper? Answer. Zookeeper is used in Kafka for managing and coordinating distributed brokers. It handles tasks like leader election for partitions, metadata storage, and configuration management. However, starting from Kafka 2.8.0, Kafka has introduced Craft Mode Kafka Raft, which allows Kafka to run without Zookeeper. Craft Mode eliminates the need for Zookeeper for cluster metadata management and is a step towards simplifying the Kafka architecture. 3. What is the difference between a Kafka topic and a partition? Answer. Topic. A topic is a logical channel to which messages are written by producers and read by consumers. Kafka allows multiple consumers to subscribe to a topic. Partition. A partition is a physical division of a topic. A topic can have multiple partitions, allowing Kafka to parallelize message processing. Partitions are distributed across brokers, providing scalability and fault tolerance. Messages in a partition are ordered, but across partitions, ordering is not guaranteed. 4. Explain the concept of consumer groups in Kafka. Answer. A consumer group is a group of consumers that work together to consume messages from Kafka topics. Each consumer in a group reads from a set of partitions, and each partition is consumed by only one consumer in the group. This ensures load balancing and fault tolerance. If one consumer fails, another consumer in the group will take over the partitions previously assigned to the failed consumer. Consumer groups allow horizontal scaling for message processing. 5. What happens if a Kafka producer sends a message to a topic with no available partition? Answer. If there are no available partitions, for example, due to partition reassignment or broker failure, the producer will receive an error and the message will not be delivered. In practice, Kafka ensures partitions are available by maintaining replicas on multiple brokers. So if a broker fails, another broker hosting a replica can take over. 6. What is message retention in Kafka and how does it work? Answer. Message retention in Kafka is the ability to keep messages for a specified amount of time or until the log size reaches a certain limit, after which messages are automatically deleted. Kafka allows configuring retention based on time, log.retention.ms or size, log.retention.bytes. Retention ensures Kafka brokers don't run out of storage and that consumers can read messages at their own pace, even if they consume them after a delay. 7. What does exactly one semantics, EOS, mean in Kafka? Answer. Exactly one semantics, EOS, refers to Kafka's guarantee that a message will be delivered and processed exactly once across producers, Kafka brokers, and consumers, despite possible failures. Kafka ensures this by using idempotent producers and transactional processing. EOS is particularly useful for preventing duplication and ensuring data consistency in stream processing applications. 8. How does Kafka handle message ordering? Answer. 
Kafka guarantees message ordering within a partition but does not guarantee ordering across different partitions of a topic. This is because each partition is independent and can be processed in parallel by consumers. If message order is critical, you should design your Kafka topic with a single partition, though this may affect scalability and throughput. 9. What is the purpose of a Kafka, producer acknowledgement, and how does it work? Answer. Producer acknowledgement is a mechanism to ensure that messages are successfully written to Kafka. The producer can configure the acknowledgement level with the axe setting. Axe is equal to zero. The producer doesn't wait for any acknowledgement from the broker. Axe is equal to one. The producer waits for acknowledgement from the leader broker. Axe is equal to all or axe is equal to one. The producer waits for acknowledgement from all replicas of the partition. Higher acknowledgement levels, like axe is equal to all, provide stronger durability guarantees but may impact latency. 10. What happens when a Kafka consumer reads messages faster than the speed at which they are produced? Answer. When a consumer reads messages faster than the producer, the consumer can continue reading messages from the Kafka partition as long as there are messages in the partition. Kafka stores messages in a log and consumers can read from any offset within the retention window. If the consumer catches up to the producer and consumes all available messages, it will wait for new messages to be produced. Kafka ensures that consumers can catch up at their own pace without losing messages unless the message retention period expires. These questions cover a range of core concepts in Kafka and require understanding both its architecture and configuration options. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more Java tutorials and tech updates. See you in the next one, and happy coding!